Hi there, welcome to this Alchemist Chemistry A level video looking at how you go about deducing a possible reaction mechanism when given the rate equation. Now there are two conditions that must be met to successfully achieve this. The first is that the rate determining step, or the slowest step in your multi-step design mechanism, must contain the molecules shown in the rate equation in the proportions shown by that rate equation, i.e. if hydrogen ions, for example, were second order in the rate equation, there would need to be two moles of hydrogen ions present in the rate determining step. The second condition is that all the steps in your multi-step mechanism must eventually equate to the overall balanced or stoichiometric equation given to you in the question. And effectively, these are kind of like a puzzle to be solved. I'm going to take you through the logic of how to solve one of these questions now. So I'm going to take you through this worked example. Things to note. Firstly, this is the overall equation we're looking to reach. And secondly, we have been provided with a rate equation which has NO2, nitrogen dioxide, which is second order, which does mean that in the rate turning step or the slow step, we do need two molecules of NO2 to be present. So I'm going to take you through the logic of how to solve this question multiple times over so you can see all the variations in possibly solving this problem. So firstly, I'm going to write my two moles of NO2 in my rate determining step, which is my slow step, as my reactants, to ensure that I have met that first criteria. Now, I've divided them up into two separate areas. I could have just written 2 NO2, but I've done that so I can show you how I can cancel one of these down later on to reach the overall equation. Now, I'm going to choose some products to form. I'm going to form NO, because again, I'm needing that at the end. I'm also going to form an NO3 molecule, which I'm going to want to discard in my second step, as I don't want it to appear in the overall equation. So I'm going to start my second step with that NO3 molecule so it is used up. I'm also going to use some carbon monoxide to react with it because I need that to finish up my overall equation as a reactant as well. And my products, I'm going to make sure that I've formed some NO2. Because I want to make sure I can cancel down the NO2 by the end of the overall equation. And finally, I'm going to finish up with some carbon dioxide as well. And so you can see that by all these uh, two steps are currently balanced equations. But secondly, I'm going to cancel down whatever I can. If it appears on the left-hand side of one equation and the right-hand side of another, it is being used up, and therefore I can cancel it down. So I can use up the NO2 here, because that one there. And I can use up this NO3, as it's used up at the straight away at the start of step two. So you can see what I'm left with overall is NO2 plus CO, forming NO plus CO2. So I've hit my two criteria. I had two moles of NO2 in my rate determining step at the start, which agrees with the rate equation. And through my cancelling down across the two steps, I have reached the overall equation required in the question. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other versions of this worked example to show you that there's multiple ways of solving the same problem. So here's the same question again. As before, I'm going to start with two moles of my NO2 molecules in the rate determining step or the slow step because that immediately agrees with the first criteria that it should match or agree with the rate equation. Now this time I'm going to form a different product. I'm going to form N2O4, dinitrogen tetroxide as my product. Now I, that doesn't appear in the overall equation so I'm immediately going to start with that in step two to remove it. But I'm going to react it with the carbon monoxide which I need in my overall equation. I'm going to form some NO this time, some nitrogen monoxide, because I need that as one of my products at the end. I'm also going to form some NO2, because I'm aware I need to cancel down some NO2 to reach my overall equation. And finally, I'm going to form some carbon dioxide as well. And I can, again, just check that the number of atoms on this side of my step two balances against the number of atoms on this side of different types, which it does. Now I'm going to cancel down, so I can cancel down the N2O4 because it appears on one side of one equation and the other side of the other. I can cancel down an NO2, and that again leaves me with NO2 plus CO forms NO plus CO2, which agrees with the overall equation presented in the question. So this is a second way of solving the same problem, which has been successful against the two criteria of agreeing with the rate equation and the overall balanced or stoichiometric equation as well. I'm going to give you one more attempt to show you that this is a very flexible question. So here we go one more time. Again, I'm going to start with two moles or molecules of NO2 so that I can immediately agree with 
rate determining step in my first step, which is the slow step. Then this time I'm going to form some nitrogen and some oxygen. Okay. Again, they don't appear in the overall equation, so I'm immediately going to start with those in step two so I can remove them from my overall equation. And we're going to react them unsurprisingly with carbon monoxide because I need that as one of my reactants in the overall equation. On the right-hand side, I'm going to form some nitrogen monoxide because I need that in my overall equation. I'm going to form some nitrogen dioxide because I need to cancel that down to make sure I only have one mole in my overall equation. And finally, I'm going to form my carbon dioxide again because I need that as well. Cancel down what I can. Because NO2 is on the left-hand side of one equation on the right-hand side of the other, I can cancel that down mathematically. And because the N2 and O2 are on the right-hand side of my top equation and the left-hand side of my bottom, they are also overall being cancelled down, leaving me with one mole of NO2 and one mole of carbon monoxide in agreement with the overall equation, forming one mole of NO and one mole of CO2 in agreement with my overall equation as well. So that has reached the two criteria as well. So there you have it, three different ways of solving the same problem. The key thing is I was making sure I was hitting my two criteria, that my mechanism rate timing step is in agreement and alignment with the rate equation. And secondly, that by the end of my multi-step mechanism, I had produced the overall equation required. I hope this helps you to better understand how to tackle what can be quite a challenging A-level question. And as always, guys, take care. Bye now.